from Eight Legged Friends and today we're going to be talking about Iris' Spider Shop, doing an unboxing and doing a review on them. So thank you for watching. It's the big day. I'm going to finally open up this package that I've been waiting for for so long. It just came in a little bit ago and I'm not exactly sure what's going to be in here. I know four of them that I ordered but they said they're throwing in a couple freebies because the wait has been very, very long. Oops. This first vial is my Grandma Stola Molokoma. I got a keychain for a freebie because I did not order that. They did tell me they were throwing in freebies. Okay. Is there a spider in here? My Brachypelma Bohemi. Might be saying that wrong. This is absolutely wild that there's spiders in these tiny, tiny things. H. Vidocella. I actually don't know what that one is. That one might be a freebie. There's my Xenethus. I am so pumped. There's more. Now, I know I ordered four. And that's already four. There's my uh, Grandma Stola Rosia. That was the other one I ordered. Now, I had a feeling they would send this for a freebie, an LP. I, once they mentioned freebies, I was on uh, their website looking, seeing what kind of cheaper things they might send. Oh, Kenta. I'm not sure what that one is. I'm gonna have to look that up and figure it out. There's two I need to actually look up and figure out. All right, I'm gonna start with the Grandma Stola Molokoma. I don't know the size, so I have several different size containers. I'm hoping I can get a quick peek. Um, it did say an inch and a half, but I was warned that their sizes were way off by people that had been ordering from the sale. Oh, it's so cute. Look. Oh. It's so hard to get a good view of it. That is a decent size. I think I'm going to put it in this tarantula crib feet three by three. So I'm gonna get that set up for it really quick. Like I said, I'm at work. So um, I have a lot of my supplies at home. I just brought some basic stuff, but I have hides and everything that I'm gonna give these babies once I get them home. I'm gonna come out. I'm glad he's moving quite a bit. Come on, honey. Come on. Is that one out? Now that I'm looking at him, I might want to put him in the four by four. Oh, he's big. Come here, baby. He's not wanting out. Come on, child. A beautiful, beautiful child. Come on, so upset. 
Gramostola, Molacoma. So, so excited about this one. All right. I have its enclosure set up. This is the Tarantula Crib 4x4 Cube. Oh, his legs are very, very long. I'm actually glad I gave him the 4x4. I brought a whole, pretty much, shoe box of different sized enclosures because I had no idea what to expect. I swear this said second in star, and it is big. These legs are massive. Oh, it is not happy. What are you doing? And that booty is so bald. I don't know if you can see. Look at him or her. I gotta get him out. Don't get carried with me. Come on. It's time, sweetheart. It's time to get out. There you go. I'm going to give you a big leaf. Right under. It's okay. I'm get that lid on it because he seems very funny. There's the Xenithus Amanis. And again, I could be saying all these names wrong. I don't really know. Next, I'm gonna do the Gramostola Rosea. I'm not sure if it's Rosea or Rosea. Again, I'm not sure how to pronounce these things. I can't believe these are in little straws. I haven't seen anything like this. I have three different size enclosures with substrate already. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's really dark in there. it out a whole lot might leave it in this tarantula crib enclosure so it can come out I might pop it slightly so I don't have to worry about it fitting and like I said I have more stuff at home to really beef up these enclosures hope everything look better Gramostola Rosia. Finally got my uh, Gramostola Rosia out. I'm trying to show you without opening it because she's an active baby. This is the red color form. She's going to be absolutely stunning when she's older. I just love Gramostola so much. This right here is the LP. It is teeny teeny tiny so I'm actually gonna put it in this is the smallest thing I have on me so I'm gonna put it in this little enclosure I hope it comes out oh, look at it my little LP no 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 little psycho are getting flighty they're all gonna get water don't worry about that now a minute ago I said this was a uh, O penta but it's a D penta I read it wrong and it is a little dwarf species I'll link the common name below I can't remember what it um, what it's called right now and we'll, we'll see how big it is and what enclosure it can go into I can get it from here. Just need to 
grab on this paper. Another little baby. This is crazy. I still have three more to do. Or two more after this. So many babies. I'm going to put it in this little enclosure. This is from the container store. Oh, he's so tiny. Oh, I love dwarf spiders. Dwarf spiders are literally the cutest. Right here, this is the H. Villocella. I could be saying that wrong also. It is the Tanzanian chestnut baboon. I actually have not had an old world spider at all. So this is the first for me. I um, don't know much about it other than typical old world things because I was not expecting this since I didn't order it. This was a freebie they sent. Don't know the size again. I'm hoping it doesn't run out at me. It's a decent size actually. Um, I don't know the best enclosure to put it in. I kind of want to see what my other spider looks like before determining who goes in what enclosure. So I'm going to really quickly take a peek at the Brachypelma bohemi. I'll be saying that wrong as well. That is my uh, fire leg tarantula. I know this one's supposed to be fairly little, so we'll see. I think the um, Tanzanian chestnut is a little bit larger, so I'm going to put it in here. And then the fire leg, I'll put in here for now. I didn't know they were sending fr three freebies, so I didn't have another container available that's bigger. But I will definitely have to rehouse it out of this. But for now, I'll put it in here just to travel home. Put this little leaf end in there and try to condense it to walk out. And I think it's facing this way, so I'll turn it around. Yeah. So I can touch its little booty instead of its face. He was freaked out, poor baby. He did not want to let that little straw house go. I'm gonna make sure I label him. I'm sticking labels on all of these because when they come in as babies, they look extremely similar. No colorings or anything. As you can see him right there. Not the happiest baby at the moment. It's okay. He'll calm down. Okay. So back with this one, Tanzanian chestnut, and I'm gonna try to get it out of here. You really pack it in there, which is good. Can't complain too much. It makes it difficult, but that's fine. It means they're secure. this leaf stem. I'm just trying to see which way it's facing. I think it's facing this way. Oh, it's mad. It's 
this map. What does it do? It's refusing to go. You know, I think I'm just gonna put it in here. Touch it a little bit. And it'll come out when it's ready. I need to do some more research on it so I can set up a proper enclosure for this species. So overall, I would not recommend Iris' Spider Shop at this moment. Things will probably change from them. Um, if you give them some more time, things might go back to normal. But they, even though things are chaotic, they keep extending their sale. So they keep getting more and more orders and they're so backed up. I don't, they, I feel like personally they need to stop taking orders so they can get caught up and send everything out because they are still struggling and not communicating with people that are placing orders and people are very very frustrated and this is going to do a number on their business um so i would just recommend not ordering from them right now maybe later on because i have heard really good things about them but that was before management change and before this wild sale that they're doing um, I am very, very happy with my spiders. It worked out great for me, but I, it did take several months to get them, and it was very frustrating. I didn't know at several points if I would actually get them or if it was, I don't know, I started feeling like I was being scammed or something because there's no contact and they had my money. So um, if you do choose to order because of the sale, then just know it will probably be very frustrating for you. Um, another thing to think about is even though they do have an 80% off sale, a lot of their products, their products, a lot of their spiders are marked up a lot. So when you do the 80% off, it puts them at a normal price. Saying that, there are some that there is a really good deal on if there's 80% off. So you just kind of need to shop around on other sites as well and other businesses and kind of compare and see if it is actually worth ordering that spider and dealing with all the chaos that is Iris' spider shop right now. But um, I am happy with how they tried to make things better for me. I got three free spiders and a free keychain in with my order. And um, I thought John, the new person that is in charge of shipping, was great, a super friendly, super reassuring person. So they picked the right person to talk to customers because he did make me feel better. And um, yeah, so just be warned if you do order from them, but they do have very healthy, very nice spiders. Um, their sizing was way off. I got very large spiders in. So when it was time for me to receive them, I didn't have the proper containers, so they had to be in containers that were a little too small for them until I was able to get bigger ones. So I felt really bad for the spiders for that because when I ordered them, I ordered containers based on what I expected to come in and it just wasn't that. But everything is working out now, I was able to rehouse them again. I actually had to wait a bit because several came in that were in pre-molt or um, got into pre molt right before I got the new containers for them. So they had to kind of wait it out in there. But everyone seems really happy, really healthy. Um, I haven't gotten everyone to eat yet because I haven't had them that long. And like I said, there's been some in pre molt and some who have molted. So we're kind of waiting for a couple of them, but, um, but they're really good. I am very happy with my order, even though I dealt with so much chaos. But um, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.